Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and you're looking at the mysterious Circinus galaxy. This is one of the 12 giants around us and today I'm going to talk about this so-called Council of 12 and we're going to explore this beautiful mysterious place. Welcome to What The Math. So first of all, let's actually take a look at the real photo of this galaxy, um, because even though it's kind of close to us in comparison to some other galaxies, we don't really know much about it. We do have really nice photos of it, and I think this is one of the best ones I could find, um, but we are still not entirely sure what's kind of happening here. The only event we ever were able to observe uh, from this galaxy was back in 1996. We actually saw a supernova here. But other than that, we've never really found anything. Uh, well, okay, there's obviously things there, but we just, I guess, never really looked that carefully. But this is one of the most exciting galaxies close to us. And this is what's known as a Seifer galaxy. You may have heard this term before because I've used it previously. Um, but in essence, if you know what quasars are, uh, and if you don't actually click on the video somewhere here, um, it's kind of like that, but it's much, much closer to us. Okay, this might not explain anything to you, so let's go in a little bit more detail. In space sciences, uh, there's something known as active galactic nuclear galaxies. These are galaxies that have the central supermassive black hole absorbing a lot of material and essentially um, sucking it all in and producing a tremendous amount of energy. Sometimes so much energy that the galaxy itself starts lighting up and being extremely bright and at the same time producing uh, what are known as relativistic jets that you can kind of see here um, and for the most part um, this usually happens either during the early creation of the galaxy or sometimes after the collision with another galaxy and when this galaxy is really far away all we can see is the actual jet pointing at us and so we call it a quasar but when this galaxy is much closer to us and we can actually tell the galactic parts we can actually see the arms and maybe even the stars we call it Cipher galaxy and and guess what? This galaxy right here, known as Circinus, is such galaxy. This, along with another galaxy I'm going to talk about in another video, is essentially the closest ever um, active galactic nuclear galaxy to us. It is an extremely exciting place for us to study. Now, we don't really exactly know why it's active galactic yet. We don't really know why the center of this galaxy is extremely bright and powerful. But there are two things we know. One is that we're lucky that the jets are not pointing directly at us. Since it's so close to us, we would most likely not really be around to tell the tale. And two is that we think that maybe there's actually two supermassive black holes um, in the vicinity, essentially creating a lot of, a lot of, a lot of energy. Uh, so we're not really able to answer those questions just yet. But here are the facts. First of all, like I said, this is a really, really close galaxy to us, and it's part of what's known as the Council of Twelve. Also known as the Council of Giants. It's almost as if something from Lord of the Rings novel. Um, but in essence, the Council of Twelve that will bind and unite us is actually just a bunch of really massive galaxies in the vicinity. Here's a very, very simple explanation. This beautiful picture right here. So you are right there in the middle. The yellowish blobs are those massive galaxies, we refer to them uh, as Council of Giants or Council of Twelve. And um, for the most part, um, there's actually other small galaxies connected to them. But these 12 galaxies are important because they're literally our neighbors or the neighbors of the so-called local group, which is um, the galaxies that are near us. The local group I previously described in one of the um, videos that you can actually find in the link on top. Um, and actually, you may have also seen one of my videos where I kind of corrected myself saying, we just discovered another galaxy, so now there's like 55 members, not 54, but that's another story. The story now is that there are these 12 giants around us. Some of them have cool names, some of them have no names, um, but Circinus Galaxy is one of the most exciting members, and that's because it's really close to us, it's only about 13 million light years away from us, which is, I guess, about like five times as far as the Andromeda Galaxy, which is in relative terms, is not that far actually. Uh, there are galaxies that are billions of years, billions of light years away from us, so there's that as well. Um, at the same time, because it's active, because the actual nuclear here is active, we get a chance to study what happens in these galaxies, 
um, and how they actually evolve over, over time. Pretty much every quasar we've seen so far is extremely old. It's like billions and billions of years old, so it doesn't really tell us anything about how um, galaxies become active afterwards. Why exactly is this nuclear active? What's happening here? Um, and at the same time, it also allows us to study the formation of stars, the formation of galaxies themselves, um, the evolution of galaxies. But most importantly, um, it allows us to understand how the universe evolved over time. Now, I'm going to actually dim this a little bit so it's easier to see. And I'm also going to try to find the beautiful supermassive black hole in the center of this um, active galaxy because I'd like to take a look at it, at how it's generated using the mathematical tools and the procedural generation of the uh, space engine. My guess is that it's somewhere in this globular cluster right there, but I could be wrong. But we're just going to go and take a look at it. And while I'm trying to find this supermassive black hole, let me talk a little bit more about the facts that we know. So first of all, uh, you can actually see this galaxy with a telescope, even though it's sort of kind of hidden by the, um, the plane of the Milky Way. If you have a powerful enough telescope, you can definitely see it. Um, it's also most likely very old. We think that it was formed just about a billion years after the Big Bang, so it's approximately 12 billion um, years old by now. It's one of the oldest galaxies out there. At the same time, if uh, the reason why this galaxy is so active um, is because of the uh, black hole, supermassive black holes um, orbiting around one another, it's very likely that essentially with time they're going to combine, they're going to collide with one another and create an extremely, extremely powerful um, gravitational wave that we'll be able to detect here on Earth. And this, if it happens, and if it's really something that we'll get to witness, is going to be the most impressive, most massive, most incredibly powerful uh, gravitational wave ever produced, because it's so close to us. Um, this would be a, quite an event to observe. All right, so we're, I think we're getting closer to this black hole. It's somewhere in this vicinity. But at the same time, like I said before, um, we're super lucky that this particular galaxy is not pointing its jet at us. Because it's an active galaxy, its um, actual jet is probably extremely, extremely powerful. And um, if it was pointing at Earth, the energy might actually be powerful enough to never allow uh, any life on Earth, depending on how far it propagates through space. Now, 13, uh, light, uh, 13 million light years is actually a very far distance, but some jets are, are pretty long. They can actually reach a uh, million light years pretty easily and even possibly be longer. So we don't really know how long the jet of this galaxy is, but it's definitely not short. At the same time, um, even though we've done close to about 100 studies on this particular galaxy, um, there's actually quite a lot of papers about it, nothing really major was ever discovered here. And to me, it's a bit, a bit of a surprise. I mean, this galaxy is super exciting. It's also full of mysteries. It has a tremendously uh, large amount of energy that it produces in the middle, in the center of the galaxy. But um, there's really not that much that we know about it. And it's a little bit disappointing. I think more effort should be put into studying this particular object because it's just exciting. All right, so I think it's actually right here because that's where I'm being... Oh, there we go. That's where I was being pointed at. There is that supermassive black hole. You can see stars orbiting around it really quickly. We're going to slowly approach it uh, here and try to see what's actually in the middle and what it looks like. And if it's just one supermassive black hole or if it's a couple or maybe three or four. So for now, I think it's actually one uh, just based on the orbits that I'm seeing here. Uh, but I also accelerate time a little bit just so it was easier to find this black hole. And surprisingly, at least according to Space Engine, this black hole is a lot less massive than the one around um, our own galaxy. It's actually only about, I think it says, uh, 115,000 masses of the Sun, which is about 40 times less massive than the one in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy. But let's actually still take a look at it because I'm actually kind of excited to see what's in the middle. And I think here, as we start approaching it, um, the lights are go also going to change a little bit because we're going to have much, much brighter region of space here. So the camera itself will adjust itself so it's a little bit easier to see the black hole. And there it is. It's sort of right there in the middle. And we're at a distance of about f uh, 3 AU from it right now. And it's definitely a lot smaller than the one in the Milky Way. And this is what this black hole may look like uh, from a distance of about 0.1 AU, which is about a fourth of a distance of Mercury to the Sun, or the tenth of a distance of Earth to the Sun. And this is in real time. This is how fast the actual accretion disk moves around it. But 
once again, this is just a simulation based on procedural generation. So for all we know, it could be completely wrong. Other than that though, that's actually really all we know about this galaxy. It is a very exciting place. It's very unusual. It contains some of the uh, biggest mysteries of the universe and it's right at our doorsteps. It's right next to us. Um, it's actually going to be really exciting to see any kind of papers that do discover something really unique here. And I hope maybe it's even you that is going to discover it. Do uh, try to find something cool here. Because as of now, other than the supernova, um, there is just not that much to talk about. Anyway, so this is the first of the uh, Council of Twelve or Council of Giants that we're going to take a look at. And in the next video, we're going to take a look at another galaxy that is also very, very impressive. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned a little bit more about this particular galaxy. And you can definitely find it in Space Engine by uh, going into the search here and typing the name in the search box. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you do discover something really awesome inside this galaxy in Space Engine, do post it in the comments below so we can check it out as well. Other than that, space out, and as always, bye-bye. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, share this video with someone who loves learning about space through simulations and video games, and maybe even consider supporting this channel on Patreon. It does help me quite a lot.